Hi guys, welcome back to Dark Angel Beauty. Thank you so much for joining us today. I am Andy and I am so excited to share with you guys another first impression. Um, this look that I have created here is actually the remnants from the LA Girl First Impression Foundation and the um, the NYX Pore Primer, uh, Pore Flawless Primer, I think. I, it's like sitting right here, I still can't remember what it is. So this is the look that I created with that so far. Um, both of those are very affordable products. So I wanted to continue the trend of affordable products on my face. And I wanted to go with this. This is a true first impression. I have never used this brand before. This is the very first time I'm ever using one of their palettes. I purchased three of their palettes um, in a haul. Um, I purchased three of their palettes for myself. And then I purchased one palette for a giveaway because they were giving away from some really cool free gifts. And I, of course, did my little thing where I separated into two orders and I got two free gifts and I got um, four palettes total because I just spent $20 and they were all each on sale for $10. So I think it's normally $15, but I paid $10 for this. Um, it is a really nice size palette for $10. It's got really beautiful colors online. It looked absolutely gorgeous. You guys can see all those colors. Um, it's not a super, super durable and it comes with a really big, beautiful mirror. Um, it's not super, super durable in terms of packaging. It's like in a little tin. But it's really nice. Um, the palettes got 18 colors, so that's a lot. Um, it's got really big pans for each of the colors, and the colors really what drew me to it was the colors are just absolutely beautiful. You guys know I love having just a light, like a wide array of colors to work with in a one single palette. So I feel like this gave me a lot, which is why I chose to do this one. Like I said, I bought two others for myself as well. Um, those were a little bit more neutral, so I wanted to play with something a little bit brighter. I have no idea what I'm gonna do with this look. I'm thinking I'm probably gonna use some purples and some blues because you know I love those. Um, well, not really the blues, but they just have really pretty blue pigments in here, so I'll probably do like an accent color with that. Maybe I won't use them at all. We'll see what happens here, but let's get on with this rad. We're gonna go in with this beautiful, like kind of grapey purple, dark, dark purple retrograde color down here at the bottom. And I'm just going to use my big old brush. Once again, didn't wash my brushes. Should have. Did not do that. I was lazy. We got home from vacation yesterday. I had to go to work at 3 a.m. And then we've been filming. And I was just like, you know what? It'll be fine. You know? It'll be just... It is what it is. Really liking this color. It's spreading really well. It doesn't seem to be too, too patchy. It feels nice. Yeah, I'm a fan of that. That's really pretty subtle purpley color. It's really, really pretty. Yeah, that's beautiful. I love this color. Wow. All right. So, so far, very impressed with it. Um, in fact, I looked at this palette when I first got it and I was, we're about to go to Disney and I was like, you know, I would really like to throw this into my makeup bag, but I would hate to do it without having tried it and then get there and realize that I absolutely can't work with this palette and it stresses me out to use because there's nothing worse than buying like a really pretty palette that's got all these gorgeous colors in it and you're so excited to use it and then when you try and use it you realize that it's chalky or the fallout's terrible or the colors don't apply on the skin the way they look in the pan and you're just like oh my god I'm so stressed out because it doesn't work but this I would say just off this color alone I really really like this palette so far we'll see how the other colors do but I'm very very impressed um, just by that first one so Makeup Revolution I've been kind of hesitant to buy their products they have a ton of really good like dupe palettes and stuff like that they have like a whole chocolate line that I think is kind of going um, head to head with the Too Faced chocolate bar collection which I have all of them and I've considered buying them but because I have the original Too Faced ones, I really felt it was kind of unnecessary unless I was doing a dupe video. So that's why I've avoided them. But I really, when they offered the free gift, I was like, it's a really cute free gift. And when I, you guys see the haul video, it's giant. The gift is huge. So I was really excited with it. Um, but I, like I said, I was just hesitant because it's got mixed reviews about, you know, the quality of the the products and the things that you're getting. But so far, I mean, I'm really very impressed with it. I feel like it's applying just as nicely as some of my other more expensive eyeshadow palettes do so i'm i'm impressed okay so i'm gonna go in i think with cosmic in my outer corner and then i'm gonna do spiral and um probably a little bit of harp as well and i think i'm either gonna do saturn or neptune on my under lash line we'll see how it looks it may look like a just total mess but i think it's gonna turn out really pretty so i'm going in with cosmic now that's that really deep matte purple color and i'm going in my outer corner it totally does not match the color scheme of my Papa Roach shirt that I have at all, which is black and red. But you know what? We are just out here living our lives, okay? You can't hold me back. I'll do what I want. 
that's really pretty. I'm very, I'm very glad I bought these palettes. I was so hesitant and I was really like, because when you buy one $10 palette, I mean, if it's terrible, you're kind of like, that stinks. But if you buy, you know, three and then one for a giveaway and you don't like the product, then you're like, wow, I just wasted $40 on things that like I hate. And if I give it to somebody, they're probably gonna hate too. So I'm very, very happy with how high quality I'm finding these um, for the price. I just really, I'm just actually blown away. Okay, so I cleaned up my eyes. Um, I'm gonna go in now with Spiral, which is that glittery purple. And I'm going to see, I think I did redirect. I think Celestial may actually be a better choice because it's more pinky and I feel like the gold is kind of kind of um, clash with the look that I'm trying to create here. I have a really bad tendency of just looking at the pretty colors in the palette and being like, I wanna use them all. And then when I start doing it, I'm like, that's actually probably a bad idea. So I always say like, oh, I'm gonna do this. And then it's like, I probably should not. All right, so the glitter shade, this one at least seems to be a little bit patchier than I would hope, but it's packing really well. Like it's doing a good job of building on itself. So I can't really like hate on it too much. It's just a little bit like sparser than I would hope it to be. It actually has such a minimal amount of fallout too. I'm honestly floored. Like especially this glitter color just is just not at all shedding, which I think is huge because fallout, oh gosh. One, it wastes just a ton of product and, and then it gets messy and then it winds up init initially. <laughs> um, innately, when you have a ton of fallout in the palette, you're probably going to have a lot of fallout on your face as well. So, I mean, I just, I think it's huge that there's not a lot of fallout there. You guys can tell how well it's sticking to my eyes. I'm very impressed with that. So now I'm going in with Celestial and I'm going to do just here. Yeah. Oh my gosh, that's beautiful. Oh, that's such a pretty inner quarter color. This is just an absolutely lovely palette. I'm so excited. I'm not entirely convinced that I won't wind up bringing all three of the palettes that I brought with me, that I got with me to Disney, because I think it's just, for for the price, for 18 colors, it's just, you can't beat it, honestly. I'm just so dang impressed. Okay, so um, as much, once again, as much as I want to use that blue color, I'm going to edit myself, and I'm going to go with Venus, which is the very vibrant pink color, because I think the pink will play better with the purple than the blue will. Um, so we're gonna go ahead and do that. I'm gonna do that under my lash line, I think. Oh, did I pull out the brush? I did pull out the brush. All right, so I'm just gonna take just a little, uh, I say just a little bit of that pink. I'm just gonna go under my lash line. Oh, hell yes, I look like something right out of the 80s. Wow, I am so, in love with this palette. I wish I had bought it a lot like a while ago because I oh my gosh the things the things I could have used it for honestly. Wow I absolutely I just I absolutely love it. I don't even have mascara on yet and mascara changes the eye look so much and I just am I'm very very impressed with this palette. I'm so excited that I picked it up. I'm so glad. I'm honestly kind of kicking myself that I didn't pick up two so that I could do one in a giveaway. What I did do is I picked up four different ones, three that were shades that I know I will use, and then one that was a color scheme that's more blue tinted that I probably won't like very much for my skin tone, but I thought it would be nice for a giveaway. So um, I think it's probably gonna be in our 1,000 subscriber giveaway. Our 100 one is obviously the first one we need to get to. Um, that one will be coming up soon. We'll talk about that more in the haul. Um, but yeah, I'm very excited about this. I just absolutely love it. I'm gonna put on some mascara, and then I'm gonna come back and show you guys my final look with it. Um, but like I said, overall, just I mean, looking at the eye color itself, it's, this is definitely a worthwhile palette in my opinion. Um, yeah, so stay tuned. I'll be right back with some mascara. Y'all, I just f***ing love this palette. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I just don't know what else to say. I just love this palette. I am so shook by how much I am in love with the eye look that I just created with this $10 palette. It was $10. I love it. It is so pretty. The packaging is really cute. I don't know what to say other than I'm sorry Makeup Revolution that I have not used you before because I listened to people's reviews that I clearly do not agree with because this is a really good eye look. This, I've honestly, y'all, I've bought palettes that I have paid way more money for. I mean like $50, $60 on palettes that I just do not respond to this way. This is a gorgeous palette. I am so impressed, so, so dang impressed with how quality these colors are. The pigmentation's beautiful. The fallout is virtually minimal. It just, it, I'm just so impressed. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video where I was clearly shooketh by how quality this palette was. 
I probably will do a first response to the other two shades too just because I want to see what kind of eye look I can create with them because I really am so impressed. I hope, um, I hope you guys like this. I know I did. Um, but if you did like it, please give it a thumbs up. That obviously really helps our page. Um, if you aren't subscribed to the page already and you enjoy our content, please go ahead and subscribe and hit the notification bell so that you see every time we post a new video. And as always, I hope you guys have just a wonderful day, but stay girly with a dark twist.